The ocean is a giant, dark, and scary place, and although it seems like we know quite a lot about it, there is actually far, far more that we don't understand at all. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Kennedy, and today on Most Amazing, we are taking a deep sea dive and counting down some of the most frightening and unexplained noises that have been heard from the depths below. So grab some goggles and throw on some flippers because these are the top 10 terrifying underwater sounds you shouldn't listen to. Starting us off at number 10, the bloop. So out of all the sounds on this list here today, this is likely the one that is most well known. But of course, I'm going to give you a little backstory just so we're all on the same page. Back in 1997, a large ultra low frequency sound was detected by two hydrophones around 4800 kilometers apart in the Pacific Ocean. And as this strange sound became available to the public, many people began to speculate that the noise may even belong to a large, undiscovered sea monster. I mean, you take a listen for yourself and see what you think. Now, to be clear, in recent years, scientists have dismissed the possibility of giant sea monsters and have instead suggested that what we are hearing is the sound of icebergs fracturing and cracking. But I mean, nothing is really set in stone. Why don't you guys let me know what you think the sound could be? Coming in at number nine, Julia. On March 1st, 1999, a weird sound was recorded by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration that raised many eyebrows in the process. Now, why this sound is called Julia is not super clear, since it sounds like a pretty deep sigh or whine, but hey, I enjoy the imagination. Now, as far as conspiracies go, there are tons of people out there who believe it comes from some kind of undiscovered sea creature or even a monster. But why don't you take a listen and see for yourself? Now, aside from the fact that people can't determine what the sound was coming from, many were also taken aback by how loud it was, which has only added fuel to the mystery. Officially speaking, experts have theorized that it is just an iceberg running into the sea floor, meaning that we are hearing a super loud squeak, essentially. But even so, nothing is 100% confirmed, so an undiscovered sea monster is not totally out of the question. Moving on to number eight, the train. First recorded in 1997 by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, it is believed this sound originated in Antarctica's Ross Sea and was named the train sound, well, for the obvious reason that it sounds like a train. Now, the suspected culprit of the train sound is an iceberg dragging along the ocean floor, but even so, the chance of it being something far more dangerous and mysterious is not entirely out of the question. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see if more information becomes available. I mean, who knows? Maybe it could even be a mermaid. Coming in at number seven. The whistle. Many say that the whistle, just as its name would suggest, sounds like a kettle of boiling water. But if I'm being honest, I hear more of a rumble or a hum. Either way, it was first recorded in July of 1997 by a single hydrophone, making it impossible to pinpoint its source. And it remains one of the sounds that has continued to stump experts time and time again. Now, tell me what you hear. Do you hear a whistle? I 
I mean, is this one of those frequency things where only some people can hear something, or do you guys hear a humming sound also? Now, according to NOAA, similar sounds have been recorded coming from erupting volcanoes, but even so, they have not ever been able to determine with certainty what or who is creating this terrifying sound. Next up at number six, slow down. Apparently there was something about the year of 1997, because it seems like almost every sound on this list, including this next one, was recorded by the NOAA that year. Now, what is especially interesting about this underwater noise is that it gets its name due to the fact that it descends in frequency over roughly seven minutes, which is pretty unusual. Now, my first reaction to this sound is that it sounds like a really slow motion yawn. And I suppose, for all we know, it could be just that, the yawn of a terrifying sea creature. Although others say it sounds kind of like when a plane or helicopter is passing over you. However, scientists are inclined to believe it is not quite as exciting and that it's just the result of a drifting iceberg coming to a stop. But what do you guys think? Next up at number five. Upsweep. Our next unidentified sound was first detected by hydrophones in 1991, but continues to pop up year after year. According to the NOAA, the sound appears to be seasonal and is more often found in spring or autumn, but there are still other times of the year this peculiar noise can be found lurking in the deep sea. Now, to me, it sounds almost like a car alarm or something of that nature. I mean, take a listen. you guys hear too or am I crazy? Now there are some theories that the sound is coming from an area of undersea volcanic activity, which I mean could be interesting, but the truth is scientists have yet to be able to fully explain what could be making this strange deep sea sound, or why the volume of it has been declining since it was first discovered over 30 years ago. Moving on to number four. Challenger Deep Moans. At the very bottom of the Mariana Trench, there is a point called the Challenger Deep. This point is the deepest point known on Earth with a depth of around 35,000 feet. However, since it is so deep, it's been pretty hard to explore. So similarly to other deep waters, we don't really know what's going on down there. However, in 2016, a recording picked up some very creepy low moans coming from its depth that are, well, pretty spooky to say the least. Right? That's a bit unnerving. Now because there is so little we've discovered at those depths to begin with, some online think this has to be some kind of undiscovered creature, but truth be told, we don't really know what it is, just that it's a little creepy. Coming in at number three, a sea monster. Not to be dramatic and jump on a conspiracy theory bandwagon, but just listen to this clip and tell me you aren't a little stressed about what the hell this could be. So what you just heard is a noise that truthfully no one knows much about, or where it came from. However, I don't know about you, but it sounded like a deep and guttural growl, which can't be a good thing. Now the question is, could it be from some undiscovered creature, or do we have a terrifying deep sea demon on our hands? All I can say is that I don't like the sound of that thing, no matter what it is. I mean, even if it isn't some insanely massive bone crushing monster, I'm still not interested in getting anywhere near it. Coming in at number two, the ping. According to local northern Canadian hunters, a strange pinging noise was heard coming from the Arctic sea floor back in 2016. Enough residents heard and reported the strange ocean floor noise that the Canadian military actually came to investigate further. But from there, it's 
seems to have been a dead end. The military aircraft failed to find anything hidden in the waters and detected no noise at all, despite the locals swearing by it. But what was the noise that they all heard? Well, it sounded like this. But where could it have gone? And where the heck was it coming from in the first place? If you ask conspiracy theorists, they believe it to have been Russian submarines spying on them, while others have chalked it up to the movement of ice sheets, which are known to make strange, bizarre noises from time to time. And last up in our number one spot today, the Devil's Cauldron. Also known as Diana's Punch Bowl, the Devil's Cauldron is a geothermal location in Nevada that has long been associated with a legend here and there. Now, some say the area is extremely haunted, while others claim it's actually been cursed, but after hearing this sound come from the water there, I have to admit it's pretty easy to get on board with either of those theories. So what I'm going to show you in a second here is footage from a man who decided to visit the Devil's Cauldron and do some investigating into the alleged curse himself. When he got there, he put an iPhone 11 into the cauldron, and that's when something very scary happened. I mean, pardon me. Is this supposed to be some sort of portal to the underworld for cursed and damned souls? It sounds so much like screaming, I actually can't quite believe it. Safe to say this is not a place I will be exploring on my own anytime soon. Well, that's all I got for you today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before you leave, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know which one of these you think is most likely to be caused by an evil creature or a demon. Personally, my money is on the devil's cauldron, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. And with that, I will see you next time. <laughs>